So this Arab Partnership Initiative is a joint initiative between the Foreign Office and our Development Ministry, the Department for International Development. We focus in the Foreign Office on the political uh, issues, elections, free media, good governance, rule of law, parliaments, all these issues. The economic facility, which is the one that is supported by DFID, focuses on primarily economic issues, growth, uh, inclusive uh, development, uh, support to the private sector, all these sort of issues. I think we are keen to work with whoever can have a positive impact. In some cases this is NGOs, in some cases it's local NGOs, in some cases international NGOs, and in some cases it's working with government institutions like parliament or uh, state broadcasters. So we are open to working with all, wherever we can have positive impact. And I think our desire is to be as diverse in the range of partners that we choose, so we can have as much uh, broad impact as possible. If we only work through one partner, then we'll be limiting the way that we work. And we are keen to invest more in local partners, uh, and we are keen to spread the message about the opportunities that our programme funds have. And I'm hoping that this, uh, this piece will also do that by telling people that if they go to the uh, UK uh, in, embassy, uh, in Egypt embassy website, and also the Foreign Office website, they will find information about these uh, potential programmes, which they can access. We are keen to promote our opportunities as widely as possible. But it simply is the case that uh, the international actors are better at providing project proposals and ideas that we can fund. But we want to change that. The way that we have designed our program is that we have devolved a lot of the authority and responsibility to our embassies. So in all of the key countries where we have Arab Partnership uh, funding, we have created Arab Partnership teams in the embassy. Their responsibility is firstly to draw up a strategy for what our objectives and priorities in these countries are. Then they promote our opportunities and this, these priorities to all of their key local and international partners so that they can then uh, draw project proposals. Uh, the embassy then makes its first initial uh, approval of the project it would like to fund uh, and then it makes these proposals to uh, us in London, in my department, and we then have a discussion with uh, our officials in London and with the embassy to come to an agreement about which projects we would like to fund. So it's a collaboration but it's very much focused on our in-country expertise to define the needs of the country in terms of its reform process. In our first year, the scale of the project was actually uh, quite small. We only spent about 5 million for the whole of the, the region. This uh, financial year we're looking to spend about 13 million from the Arab Partnership Participation mm -hmm. Fund. So the, the ability to focus on impact will be greater this year. So uh, all of our, our projects uh, have rigorous evaluation because we have to justify to the British taxpayer why we are spending his money mm -hmm. on these projects. Uh, and so we are all very clearly focused on having uh, quarterly reporting of the activities of each, of each uh, programme and its impact. And then we need to demonstrate that the impact is uh, what was expected and, and, and aimed for. One of the examples that I often give when people ask me is the Aswad Masriya programme because uh, both in its scale and scope and also in the impact in terms of the feedback that it's got about how it has uh, influenced the uh, landscape of reporting in Egypt there has been many, uh, many examples of positive uh, feedback there. So this is sometimes less quantitative, but more qualitative evidence of impact. I think the only thing to, to stress is that the reason we are funding these programs is because we see this process of change in the region as very, very important. We think the opportunities for consolidating uh, a stable, democratic, open, prosperous region of which Egypt is uh, uh, the most important uh, part, is the biggest country, is vital not only for the success of the region itself, but also for all of us, because uh, the more stable and prosperous Egypt, Tunisia and Libya are, the more stable and prosperous the region will be, Europe will be, and the world will be as a whole. And this is why this is a fundamental strategic objective for us, which is why we are committing so much effort to this. Uh, and so we are very committed to making a success of Egypt's political and economic transition and wish you the best of success in this, uh, in this effort. Okay, from, from 1 to 10, how do you evaluate your investment in Aswad Muslim? I said at the beginning, we don't quantify, uh, but this is one of our, uh, our more successful projects and we're very happy that we are expanding the scale of our investment in this project.